Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Kind of is cutting off our head, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, everyone. Thank you all for coming out tonight. We have Sophia Jakobsen and Alex Morgan here. They're both going to give their brief thoughts on tonight's match, and then we'll open it up for questions. Uh, Sophia, if you want to go first. Oh, me. Uh, Alex, I'll, I'll go first. It's easier than I can just peel in zone. Yeah. Um, I think there was ebbs and flows of the game, but um, just like proud of the character that we showed uh, tonight and kind of bouncing back from a couple um, tough losses. So um, it was nice to get a win in our last time at this stadium um and back in in the mix at the top of the table is always a good thing so we're going to build momentum off of this yeah i can just uh, agree with what alex said and i think it's really a great team effort after going down one zero and then bounce back like she said and we scored three goals today and come out with a nice victory and so scored her first goal yay <laughs> go ahead you guys just first goal um, but in the last couple of games, there's been a couple of struggles offensively, but it's just a little bit. Unfortunately, is there something different at training, or is it just a matter of getting uh, more accustomed and just having that kind of people to this game where the bar was finally run into that net three times? Yeah, you're going to have some luck on your side and some luck against you. And last game, it was just luck against us. Um, we knew that we played well we just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net and that's gonna happen sometimes in the game of soccer so we didn't dwell on last game um that much and just came into this game knowing that we wanted to get back three points um it was a huge game for us in in houston being ahead of us in the table now so um i think overall it was just doing what um what we've always been doing and knowing that the tides were going to turn Check. Um, Alex, congratulations on the number 50 and just on the win and just on both of you. But um, yeah, how would you just describe that mouth and does it feel like surreal or are you still kind of taking all in? Oh, um, I don't, I guess I had heard that earlier, but I for, totally forgot about it. Um, but I was just happy to get to get on um, the score sheet, you know, after we kind of went down one zero, I felt like that was a little bit um, of uh you know, a goal that that Salmon scored like against the run of play. And so I felt like when we got that goal back, it was kind of like a little bit of a relief because last game we just couldn't get one in. So it was nice to get um, the equalizer early and then to have Amira and so kind of close out the game was uh, was kind of what what really we needed to, to feel confident and back um, kind of feeling good moving forward. And also, just with your home break crowd, obviously that group is just uh, <laughs> here every week supporting. What does that mean to you as far as just getting to do that and then, of course, have the house at the same time? Yeah, I'm um, very fortunate to be able to, you know, donate those tickets to um, a girls team in the San Diego, greater San Diego area that um, that really would love to come and experience, uh, you know, women's soccer games. So um, it's great to see uh, the tickets go to the Boys and Girls Club this game. And um, it's always just feels like home every time I look at that banner and the girls just cheering behind there. Um, so I'm, I, you know, I'm always happy to see this stands filled in general, but especially in my home break. Yeah, you come up the bench and you impact the game the way that you did. How do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I have uh, uh, come back from a Euro who was a little bit tough for me. Uh, to come back here and play with the team have feels really great. And to come on today and score was uh, really important for me. I have worked hard for that. And finally, I could uh, score a goal. Yeah. I know that Soph's been working so hard and she's been super close to scoring for so long now. So I was definitely more excited when she <laughs> scored than when I scored. <laughs> Alex, obviously it was a night about a little weight, your last game feels a little, but how, what does it mean for you being nominated for the Golden Globe? Golden, golden uh, Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. Um, I mean, it feels great. I, you know, I, I'm very honored to be alongside uh, 19 other incredible um, footballers. Um, I, I feel really good about the season that I've had because last year 
Um, it wasn't the Olympics or season that I'd hoped for. So uh, this environment that San Diego Wave has created to allow us to be successful and individually for each of us to thrive um, is really important and it's really helped my game. So it, it's it's a really proud moment for me. Grattis till målet, Sofia. Tack. Eh, var det mer en lättnad eller glädje? Både och. Alltså, en otroligt lättnad. Jag har väntat jättelänge på det här. Och att äntligen få sätta dit den kändes så skönt. Och jag, som jag sa innan så har jag jobbat väldigt hårt för det här. Och eh, äntligen så satt den och det var ett mål som gilldes den här gången. Och inte ett offside-mål och inte den som var bollen som var inne. Så det var jätteskönt. Bra, gratulerar. Tack. So we got Portland next, next week, really another top team in the standings. What do you guys think? Um, I mean, we expect Soph Smith um, to be, you know, very attacking oriented. She's also in the running for, um, you know, most goals in the NWSL season. Um, they just are a team that has not dropped a lot of points this entire season. They don't have many flaws. So for us, this is an important game because now kind of, I believe, being at the top of the table with Houston and Portland, if I'm not wrong, mistaken. Um, this is just the exact game that you would want at this moment is playing someone who's who's level with you at the top of the of the table. And then obviously they have a huge crowd. Um, they always have a sold out stadium. So um, it's an exciting environment to play in, but um, but we have to be we have to be at our best. Thank you all. We're going to wrap up this section here and we'll be back with Casey Stoney. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have Casey Stoney here. She's going to give her quick thoughts on tonight's match and then we'll open up for questions. Yeah, obviously proud of the reaction from the team. Um, thought that wasn't our prettiest performance. We had to play a little bit ugly at times. We seem to be lacking a little bit of confidence on the ball. But having said that, you're playing against a team who's above you in the table and, you know, we, we come out and get a win. Um, so, yeah, I can't be... Can't be any more proud of the players and the way they reacted. The players that came on and made a difference, and also all the players that prepped throughout the week. I think their reaction to two back-to-back -back defeats has been incredible. Coach, an important three with your opponent in the first half during the third half goal was a very important but what are you most excited about this team moving forward into the latter half of the season, moving into the playoffs? I think the way we can hurt back lines, you know, we create so many chances in behind tonight and obviously didn't take them again. We created lots of chances last night and I think we've defended well um, in periods tonight as well. So I'm excited at how good we can be because we're not even yeah. playing anywhere near our best, you know, especially with in possession. So I think there's so much more growth to go. You know, sometimes you've got to win ugly and that was one of those tonight. Sorry, oh. after the second going out, if you... Give a message to your players like you know, stay calm, stay focused. Yeah. That message to us, like, yeah, stay compact, stay focused. You're always vulnerable when you've scored in the next five minutes. So it was about making sure that we were compact. We didn't give them any spaces. We were calm in, in our approach and keep our mentality right for those next five minutes. And they go down the other end and have a chance. And I've got to be honest, I think we've earned a little bit of luck yeah. recently because for me, that's an absolute stonewall penalty in the first half. We don't get it. Our player gets fouled on the clearance, they score. So, you know, it swings and roundabouts, but yeah, we, we deserve a bit of luck tonight. And I'm, I'm just so pleased for the players because the performance didn't deserve a defeat last week and it didn't just deserve a defeat this week. Any other in person questions? Yeah, coach, uh, Sophia has made so many attempts. And she, I must be really happy for her and then bringing her in in the second half. Yeah, really pleased for her. She's obviously had quite a few, you know, the one that come off her shins as well when she's in. I'm thinking, oh, she's not going to. So that's kind of a, a big weight off her shoulders now that she's got a goal. And it was an unbelievable finish from the right angle. You know, she's had easier chances than that. And, but so pleased for her. You know, I thought she made a big difference when she came on, just threatening that back line and getting in behind. Well, how important, I know you're going to be in playoffs, but how, how important is it for you to finish in the first place when you have still five more games? We want to finish as high as we possibly can. 
You know, we've we've had a bit of a dip in form recently, which has seen us kind of drop a few points. But every game's important. Every game is trying to take maximum points, and we have to continue to grow and improve to do that. You know, it's not about finishing first. It's about finishing as high as we can. If that ends up being first, then great. But um, I'm very proud of the growth of this team over a short space of time. Your life at this first season is going to be so simple for you I think we set very high standards of ourselves. I certainly do as a coach. Um, and when we lose, I probably feel it really heavy um, because I want to make sure that the players are successful. Um, so big win tonight. Um, really pleased for the players. And we have to just continue to grow. You know, you're only ever as good as your last game. So we've got to go into the next game and try and pick up all three points. Stephanie. Hi, coach. First off, congrats on the win. And leading up to this game, I, and I had the misfortune of unfortunately reading a few negative comments. And one of the great things about the wave is that you constantly prove your critics wrong. And that's something wonderful for San Diego sports. And so how cathartic is it for you when you prove your critics wrong and when your team bounces back like this? Yeah, I'm not really bothered about what other people say because I know what my my players do week in week out I see them train I saw a great performance last week and football's a game of opinions there's not many jobs in the world where everybody thinks they can do your better job better than you I always say I don't go to the bricklayer and say he's laid the brick wrong or the plumber and say he's not put the taps in right or the accountant and say he's done his numbers wrong but everyone's got an opinion on my job so it's part and parcel of it I don't read it I'm not bothered by it I am concentrated solely on my players and their growth and development but yeah, it does. Uh, it gives me a little smile when we win. And that's not about the critics. That's about all the players because they deserve the win tonight. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, Scott. Hi, Casey. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you had, as you as you note, uh, gone through a run of form that hadn't been what you'd wanted. Uh, you've struggled to score goals in recent games. This is only the third time you've scored more than two goals in a in a regular season game. But the way that you came back and the way that the game finished uh, them coming so close to equalizing with five minutes to go. And then you getting that, that win the, the one that just iced the win and stuff. I'm wondering if this could be a transformative win for this team. Um, in what ways can you build off of what happened, especially at the end tonight and take it further and build on it towards the playoffs and, and into the playoffs? Yeah, I don't think we need to be transformative with where we're sitting in the table and the performances that we've put in. Um, I think that's a little bit harsh, to be honest, from the players. I think it's about building confidence and belief. We didn't score last week. We created six quality chances and we didn't take them. So it's not, I would be more worried if we weren't creating. I'd be more worried if we weren't in the right positions. We've again created numerous chances tonight that we haven't taken. So, you know, we're creating, we're getting in the right areas. It's about building belief and confidence that we can manage the ball a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it's just game on, game out. And, and there aren't many teams that score more than two goals in this league consecutively because it's such a competitive league and that's why it's so exciting and that's why you know, it's such an exciting part uh, a game to be part of over here is that is it a little bit about building the belief in in the finishing in the last product then uh in that you guys do create a lot of chances they don't yeah. always go in yeah absolutely and i think whilst we keep creating chances and keep grinding teams down we'll 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 get more goals you know i'm pleased for Sophia and pleased for I thought Alex was outstanding again tonight. I think she led the front line by example, and I think everybody else feeds off that as well. So, yeah, we want more people to score more goals. But I think the fact that we're getting in the right areas, creating chances, is a is something we just need to continue to work on. Is putting the ball in the back of the net. But we scored three, so I'm happy with that. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.